The Tear Movement was founded to right the injustices brought upon the people of Rosselhaig by those that claimed to be our equals. For over 700 years, both House Corita and House Steiner have used their lies of equality to justify the oppression of our people. I am here to announce that these injustices end now. Today, with the blessing of both Comstar's Primus Mindu Waterly and the Draconis Combine's Gunji no Kanre, Theodor Corita, I declare the independence of the Russellhaeg Military District from Combine rule. From this day forth, we will be recognized as the Free Russellhaeg Republic. Conray Corita has ordered the withdrawal of all DCMS forces stationed in what is now Republic space. Overseeing this peaceful transition of power will be the loyal forces of our newly formed military, the Kung's Army. Report! The DCMS is in Russell on Rangers. Have attacked the Kung's Army and ISIL convoy carrying Marcus Corita. They're attempting to free him from our custody. Damn it! Alert the ISF at the Combine Embassy. I'm greenlighting the full deployment of the first year's battlemech forces. Alert! Alert! All first year and supporting mercenary forces prepare for immediate deployment. We are under attack. Repeat! All first year and supporting mercenary forces prepare for immediate deployment. We are under attack. Continue across the newly formed Free Rasselhaeg Republic as DCMS troops refuse to withdraw from Republic space. The Rogue forces have answered. Kaiju Marcus Marina's call to action has rallied the support of a number of DCMS commands loyal to the Rasselhaeg military district and his cousin, Coordinator Takashi Kurita. They continue to valiantly fight against the illegal annexation of Combine territory by Magnuson's rebel forces. The known tier terrorist has just breaking from Comstar, the heir to the Dragon and the Gunji no Conre of the Draconis Combine, Theodore Perita, has just released a public announcement regarding the ongoing Russell Hague crisis. Let's listen in. The Dragon has entered a new era as we look ahead to the future. We are saddened by those who only look behind. For the Dragon to move forward, we must shed the shackles that bind us, limiting our power and holding us back from true greatness. By allowing the Russell Hague people to be free, we have removed the shame that has quietly burdened the dragon for centuries. There are those who believe that to hearken back to an older time is to further the purpose of the dragon. They are wrong. The dragon endures because it adapts and embraces progress without burying itself in obsolete beliefs. Those who oppose the will of the dragon are therefore declared Ronin, masterless warriors who think only of their own selfish desire and not the will of the Combine. To these Ronin, I say, lay down your arms and accept true honor, or follow your selfish course to a disgraceful and ignoble end. Tyra, I'm sorry. I dedicated my life to fighting for the freedom of our people. To build a better home for you to grow up to see. One where you would never leave under the boots of House Corita or Steiner. But the great house's disdain for our people is endless. Magnuson and the Republic were fools to trust that they would recognize our people as equals, or that the hired guns would care for anything more than lining their pockets with what little wealth our people have. One day, you will learn of all the things Christian and I sacrificed for our people, and of the mercenaries that betrayed us. 
leaving your mother and I to die at the hands of our oppressors. I'm sorry that their greed and indifference robbed you of a life with our spider's side. If by some miracle I survive and live to see you again, I can promise you one thing. I will make them pay. Citizens of Rasselhaeg, the night has passed, and a new glorious day has dawned on the Republic. I am here with you to announce that the primary perpetrators of the Ronin uprisings across our new Republic have been brought to justice. The Ronin's rejection of our sovereignty and callous disregard for civilian life was nothing new to the people of Rasselhaeg. Their objective was to reinforce a 700-year culture of oppression and racism towards our people, returning us to a status quo that sought to have them retain absolute power over us. In that, they have utterly failed. Today, the people of Rasselhaeg remain free, while the Ronin's dated ideals of bigotry die with their misbegotten crusade. This was accomplished not just by the valiant efforts of our own brothers and sisters in the Kung's Armee, or the mercenaries that supported our cause, but from the help of our former countrymen, Gunji no Kanre Theodore Korita, and the soldiers of the DCMS. Although our paths have diverged, Kanre Korita and the brave members of the DCMS fought on our behalf against their own. Their sacrifices on behalf of the people of Rasselhaeg show us all the true honor and compassion of the dragon. Their actions will never be forgotten. This war has acted as a baptism of fire for our new republic. It is one that has forged us into a stronger nation that has proven to the entire inner sphere what we have known all along, that together, the people of the Free Rasselhaeg Republic are no one's lesser. From this day forth, the Rasselhaeg people will now and forever stand amongst the great houses of the Inner Sphere as equals.